Hey, Tom. Hey, Susan. Hey, Chris. So, you guys ready for some football? Oh, yeah. I'm wearing my cup. <laughs> hey. Oh, hey, you didn't have to bring a paper. We got, we got one right here. Oh, it's a New York paper. I like my news chock full of crime. <laughs> we have crime here. Local man irked by utility bill. <laughs> Just hope the cops got there in time. Hey, Mary. Guess what? Lewis may have a girlfriend. Oh, my God. I know. Are you sure? Pretty sure. This is so exciting. I know. <laughs> what does that mean you're pretty sure Lewis may have a girlfriend? It means, Tom, that Aunt Linda called Mom, and while they were talking, she heard Lewis in the background whistling. So Aunt Linda called Cousin Cassie at college, and she agreed that, yes, whistling definitely means a girlfriend. And so Cousin Cassie called me, and now I'm telling Susan. <laughs> Why doesn't one of you just ask him? It's none of our business, Tom. I cannot believe that poor kid had to grow up with all you gossipy women scrutinizing his every move. This is probably why he is so odd and quiet. Lewis is not odd. He's sweet and sensitive. Hey, Lewis, do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> no. Thanks for crushing our hopes, Tom. No problem. All my life's just me. My signs that no one is allowed. Today I met you. Been together in a crowd. Now you're taking me to a world I see. So different from my own. But if you're there with me, I'll be fine. Seven points. Oh, Mary, it's not Tom's fault that his team is getting squashed like a bug. <laughs> hey, not funny. I'm gonna get another beer. Good idea. Maybe it'll be less painful to watch your team get slaughtered if you're drunk. <laughs> Turkey sausage, 25 cents off. Thank you. Oh, how about a uh, deodorant? Men's, women's, spray a roll on. What's going on? Oh, I just mentioned I was going shopping to my mom and... Out came the coupon boxes. <laughs> She's got one for everything. Try me. Name any product. <laughs> uh, that's not necessary. No, go on, go on. It's fun. <laughs> All right. Uh, how about boneless pork loin? Buy six pounds. Get a free meat thermometer. <laughs> Try another. Uh, I'm good. I, I believe you. Okay, okay. If you want to quit. <laughs> Yogurt. Non-fat fruit on the... Bottom, six for a dollar. <laughs> instant mashed potato flakes. Hey, now, why would anyone want to make instant mashed potatoes? Well, looks like I am... Uh... I suppose if they did, they might as well get two boxes for the price of one. <laughs> I'll take that. He doesn't know the difference. <laughs> oh, Louis? Lewis, I've got to take you pants shopping. This coupon expires today. But the game's on. It expires today. <laughs> I can't believe your mom still takes Lewis pants shopping. I take you pants shopping? Yeah, and then we sleep together. See how creepy your little analogy just got? <laughs> it's no wonder he doesn't have a girlfriend. He spent his whole life being smothered by his sisters and mom. What he needs is to be smothered by some women he's not related to. And you think you can help him with that? Well, who better than me to help Lewis realize his full potential as a man? <laughs> you were serious? Yeah. Yeah, and, and to start, I will take Lewis shopping for his pants. What about the game? Uh, hey, Tom, I think the Jets quarterback is colorblind because he keeps throwing the ball to the Chiefs players. <laughs> See if your mom has a coupon for a muzzle. 10% off a muzzle. This isn't a store Mom had a coupon for. I think we can do without the free belt with purchase from the Slack Shack. Whoa. You are a wild man. Now, I think we should start you out with some blue jeans. You know, classic, casual, manly. What size are you? I don't know. 
What's my tag say? Oh. Lewis, what are you doing? Don't, don't stand like that. Can I help you? Uh, yes. Yes, you can. I need pants. Okay. You look like you're a uh, 32 regular. Now, did you want those in classic, boot cut, or relaxed fit? Yeah. Pants. <laughs> you're funny. <laughs> Uh, why don't we let the lovely Beth pick? After all, she's the professional. Okay. How about relaxed fit? You seem like a pretty laid-back guy. Bingo. <laughs> okay. Let me check the back. Okay. <laughs> Lewis, Lewis. She, she was flirting with you. You should ask her out. <laughs> you ask her out. Lewis, I'm married. To your sister? Oh, yeah. Hey, I brought you the regular and the button fly. There she is, Lewis. Go ahead. Ask her. Ask her what? <laughs> Beth, you were right. He is funny. See, Lewis was just saying how much he would like to ask you out to dinner. Wow. Does he ask out all your dates for you? No, I don't really date that much. <laughs> well, is it true? Yeah, hardly ever. <laughs> well, if you'd like to take me to dinner... I'd love to go. Great. Great. Oh, Lewis, why don't you go try on those jeans? You try them on. <laughs> oh. I never thought I'd actually see Lewis go out on a date. Well, you see, these two interfering all these years. No girlfriend. A few hours in my manly, musky presence. Instant girlfriend. And we appreciate you not gloating. <laughs> Well, I'm interested to see what kind of girl Tom has picked out for our brother. What's wrong with Tom's taste in women? <laughs> Nothing. I'm sure she'll be very pretty. Some men are just interested in more, that's all. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I don't want any fighting to distract from my big night, okay? It's nice the way you've made this all about you. So, this is really happening. Yep. Well, you really think that Lewis is ready to date? He's, he's such a sensitive boy. Ah, don't worry so much. Lewis is practically a man now. Or at least he will be if this date goes well. <laughs> what do you mean? You know, if the date goes well, then... I don't know what I mean. <sighs> New pants and a date. <laughs> Everything's just moving so fast. Here he comes. Oh, hey. Hey, hey, you look, look great. Hey. Hey, nice pants, Lewis. <laughs> They're button fly. That's what took me so long. Yeah, they certainly are nice. But I suppose they should be since you paid full price for them. <laughs> it must be Beth. You ready? You remember everything I told you? All right. Huh? Go. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Hey, you look nice. Thanks, Lewis. I told him to say that. Where are you going to dinner, Lewis? We're going to here. <laughs> I did not tell him to say that. Chris, this is Bill's out of town. Why don't you sit in his seat? Really? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Why don't you do the honors? Are you sure? No, I've, I've never led before. It would be fine. Uh... A little higher. <laughs> Lord, Lord is good, good to me. me. And so I thank the Lord for giving me the things I need, the sun, the rain, and the apple seed. The Lord is good to me. Amen. Way to go, honey. Good comeback. So, Beth, did you grow up in uh, Kansas? Yeah, I grew up in Emporia, but I moved up here to go to KU. I go to KU. Rock Chalk Jayhawk, KU! Rock Chalk Jayhawk, KU! What was that? That's the KU Jayhawk chant. So, Lewis, what's your major? Entomology. Doesn't that mean bugs? Yeah. 
Well, well, bugs and, and, and using microscopes, you know, collecting and analyzing evidence and, and solving crimes. <laughs> he's, he's really like a detective. Sounds cool. Yeah, it does sound cool. And so then she said, oh, I thought you said corduroy. <laughs> <laughs> corduroy, funny. You would look great in corduroys. Yeah. So, Beth, what's your major? English lit. And, you know, we just read Kafka's Metamorphosis. It's about this guy who goes to sleep, and when he wakes up, he's turned into a bug. Awesome. This is going great. It must be even manlier than I thought. Is that possible? Well, Beth, I guess it was a good thing that Tom brought Lewis to your pants store today. Who would have thought not using a coupon could be a good thing? <laughs> Maybe you have a coupon for a movie for the next date. Are you asking me out for another date with Lewis? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to my room now. Good night. <laughs> He's probably got a uh, crime to solve. Hey, Lewis. How you doing? Good. Just got two power plays in a row. Oh, well, that's relevant. So Beth took off. She might have been a little surprised when you got up and left. I think we all were. I was just worried that if I stayed and walked her to the door, that she would have wanted me to kiss her goodnight. Why wouldn't you want to kiss her goodnight? Okay, I'm going to tell you something, but I cannot leave this room. Okay, but after you tell me, can I leave this room? Yeah. The reason why I didn't want to kiss Beth is because I already have a girlfriend. And is she here with us right now? No, she totally exists. Her name is Sherry, and I met her at the entomology lab at KU. Wait a minute, is Sherry the reason you were whistling the other day? How did you know about that? Oh, uh, it, it doesn't matter. Why didn't you tell anyone about Sherry? I don't want my sisters to know. They just ask me questions and tease me and stuff. You could have told me. No, you would have told Susan and she would have told everyone. I don't tell Susan everything. In fact, we barely speak to each other. <laughs> so you and I are brothers now. We have a pact. It's the pact of brothers. We have that? Yeah. It means we can tell each other stuff and nobody else has to know. Cool. Maybe we should have a secret handshake. Yeah, I don't think we need to have that. Oh, I got one. <laughs> Louis, that's just a regular handshake. That's right. That way, no one will ever get suspicious. How is he? Is he all right? Does he need his mother? <laughs> He's fine. He's just not ready to settle down yet. But he wanted me to tell you that I did a great job and uh, how the next time Bill's out of town, I should get the big seat. Really? Lewis didn't think I did a good job with the dinner song? He's probably just putting on a brave face. I better go make some cocoa. <laughs> Poor Lewis. I'll go call cousin Cassie and tell her Tom's date was a bust. What are you going to tell her about the dinner song? Are you sure Lewis is okay? Oh, yeah. He's fine. What's that smirk for? What smirk? Oh, uh, did you? I have a secret smirk. <laughs> Honey, there, there's no smirk. My lips just curl up like this. This is their natural smirk-free state. Tell me. <laughs> okay, I don't think by doing that glare that I'm going to break down and tell you. Because <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Lewis already has a girlfriend. <laughs> The whistling. Yes, the whistling. I have to go tell Mary. No, 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 you can't tell anyone. You didn't want to tell anyone because you don't want your girls bugging him about this. I don't know if I can 
keep something this good a secret? Okay, honey, you're going to have to. Oh. Okay. Susan, Mom wants to know if you want to take home any left... Why are you smirking? <laughs> Hey, I got the lettuce. I got you this. Oh, this will do fine. Okay. Yeah, I'm making meatloaf, and I want to put it on a bed of lettuce for presentation, just in case Lewis wants to invite his special friend over. You mean Beth from the pants store? Oh, Tom. <laughs> Come, Lewis, describe Sherry for us. Hair? No. Bald? No, I'm not describing her. You broke the pack of brothers, pack breaker. What do you mean? Lewis, do we want to meet her? I thought I told you not to tell anyone. I'm sorry I tried, but it was too good, so I called Aunt Viola in Clay County. And then Aunt Viola told me, and I told Mom. Wait, I told Aunt Viola, and she acted like she didn't know. See, Lewis, we should be mad at all the women. Right, bro? Throw my ass. Lewis. Dinner's at six. If there's anyone you want to bring. Yeah, come on. We want to meet Sherry. Don't be mad, Lewis. We think it's so great that you have a girlfriend. Well, too bad. Because I don't. She broke up with me. What? She found out about the date that Tom made me go on and she dumped me. <laughs> what do you have to say for yourself now, Mr. Muskie? <laughs> it's not Tom's fault. Well, sure it is. He questioned our whistling interpretation. No, no. It's my fault. I never should have let Tom buy Lewis full price pants. <laughs> I don't believe it. She put herself in the doghouse. So, any other lives you want to ruin today, Tom? No, I'm good. I'm looking for Sherry. Oh, I'm Sherry. Oh, great. I'm Tom, Lewis Kelly's brother-in-law. Oh. Yeah, look, I, I just wanted to come down and apologize and try to patch things up between you and Lewis. See, I'm the one who set him up on that other date. He, he didn't even want to go through with it. Yeah, but he did. Yeah, but he had a really bad time. We all did. <laughs> that doesn't make it any better. Look, Sherry, Lewis is really upset. I mean, he can't even leave the house. Tom? Metaphorically, he can't leave the house. Obviously, he, he can leave the house, but, but, but emotionally, he's still very much in the house. Lewis broke my trust, and without trust, what would we have? You'd still have all these bugs, huh? I mean, uh, breakups are always hardest on the larva. Actually, Tom, that species is ovoviviparous. They don't have a larva stage. How great is this guy, huh? Come on, you gotta take him back. I have to go, okay? I have bugs to feed. Two other bugs. I'm sorry, Lewis. I, I guess I'm as bad as your sisters. Well, not Mary, but... You know what I mean. I'm sorry. Tom! Yeah? Sherry and I didn't really break up. You didn't? No. We just made that up to get my sisters off my back. Really? Yeah. That's great! Well, here I was trying to help you, and it turns out maybe you could help me. I, I would love to get your sisters off my back. You know, it's better for our relationship if Lewis doesn't have all that pressure from his sisters. He's a real sensitive guy. How about we give the pack of brothers another shot? Put her there, bro. It's our secret handshake. Can you keep one of those a secret? Did you fix it? Are Lewis and Sherry back together? I wish I could say they were, but I can't. I'm gonna get to work. Uh, look at me. 
<laughs> okay. Continues with Hope and Faith, next on ABC. Bummer. <laughs> 